Okay, uh, good morning or good uh, afternoon, good evening to everybody. I'm Fabio from Italy and I'm very happy to coordinate this moment together about social theater and community theater. And it's a, a topic very, very interesting, very, very huge, very wide, and of course, but also I would like to create uh, with you a, a common discussion because I think that uh, for the network for higher education in performing arts, this aspect has to be started. It's not yet uh, working, but I think that we are ready to start a common uh, activities on these topics. So very, so very important, so very delicate and strategic for many, many different people. And also uh, other people are coming and uh, then, I think that uh, okay. I would like just to, to say a few uh, words about the hello Amadou. Uh, also, the presences are very, very, very well distributed uh, in all the continents. And also, I think this is another important opportunity is uh, another aspect of the essential role of the social theater in these last uh, 20 years. We can, uh, this, we have discovered the importance of this topic, but I, I want to say first uh, one aspect very essential for me. Social theater is not a, a, a different solution by the main goal and main mission of theater. Theater is a social, is a, radically connected with the social dimension of the human life, with the political life, with the civil rights of everyone. From the foundation of theater, the theater was the voices of the, of the democracy, of the people, of the resistance. And also mainly in the last period in which we are living a era of global conflict, we can find this dimension for the theater like an essential dimension. The social dimension of theater is something that has to be discovered in many, many other aspects. And also the condition of these last two years of the COVID situation is something connected deeply with the, a new condition of the community of the women and men that work and live in performing arts. There is a, a new dimension the performing arts during COVID period and this aspect is essential to reconsider some aspects very important. And also for, for this reason for me, it's very important to create a very strong network on this topic. We know that the dimension of the uh, theater, there is an ambiguity, it's ambiguous, the dimension of theater. There is a part connected with the entertainment, with the enjoy the people. This is not a negative dimension of the theater. It's something very, it's an essential aspect. But in the other side, there is another aspect, like theater, like a tool, very essential for the educational elements of the life of everyone, everywhere in the world. These do, two aspects uh, has to work together. And the crisis, the economical crisis connected with the uh, COVID situation and with the pandemic situation has opened a very important crisis in many countries for the people that live with theater, with the performing arts. But I can consider this new condition like another challenge that we have to work, to manage, to face, to face together, because there is another opportunity. The crisis creates a new condition, a new opportunity for the performing arts community. And social theater in a certain way is a very important tool, a very important uh, instrument that we can use to face this new condition of crisis, of global crisis. Uh, also, in, during period of crisis in the history of the human being, uh, we have uh, observed the role of theater that is always 
in the front line, always in the front line of the uh, experience of community. But this condition creates a new opportunity, a new aspect. In a certain way, we have to consider the theater not only a, an experience that stay in, the, in a closed space, in a place that we call the hall of the theater, but is an opportunity for the society. The theater has to meet the people always. And if it's, it's not enough, the, the place and the official place of the self-representation of culture, there is a need very deep of the human being to enter in contact, to elaborate a, com a common experience. And this is one of the essential role of the theater in relation of society, the theater in relationship with the community. The theater is an experience of a community. It's not an individual work. It's not something connected with the uh, self uh, representation, with the dim dimension of selfish uh, uh, attitude of human being. It's something always connected with the deep need of this community in which we are living. For example, I, I can speak from my point of view with my experience. Uh, you can consider, for example, uh, what is the delicate dimension to work in some context in which the organized crime exists. In South Italy is a very important aspect, this to use theater like an instrument to have a dimension of uh, freedom, connected situation in which the connection of the society is weak, is not uh, working. That is, they have a big problem to create a common sense, a sense of value shared that can create a, the production of common sense. With us uh, is uh, today another member of the Italian Center of ITI, Vito Minoia, that work uh, with an extraordinary experience of a theater in prison. You know the experience of theater in prison in Italy has a very, very strong uh, presence, a very extraordinary experience. What is the, the role of this relationship? The role is the, the very ancient role of theater to create a sense in which a community can be recognized, in which a community can find a shared sense to work together and to overcome and to resolve some problems. Uh, we know the results of this experience of theater in prison is an example very clear how the theater can find again a deep sense for its existence nowadays in this society so complex, so full of conflict, of contradictions, of risks. And also is a, another aspect essential to find and to create a common strategy to give a tool to the community to find a new sense for the society. In this sense, the relationship for the, between theater and society is a strong sense. It's not something that uh, is not a, a easy solution, but is a, a strategy essential to find one more time an opportunity for the theater, one more time an opportunity for the society to give another opportunity to transform the condition, the, the real condition. In my experience, uh, I work uh, in the conflict zones is another aspect of the dimension of social theater. The work with the refugees, with the migrants, with the diverse ability. These are always opportunity in the society to give, to enter in contact with the concrete dimension, with the real dimension of the living experiences of the women and men all over the world is an opportunity that doesn't want to describe the situation, 
but to enter in contact and to try to transform the real condition. In the conflict zones, as you know very well, the need of the people is to continue to survive, to overcome the destroy, the destruction, the dimension of the hopeless dimension of the daily life. But everywhere in the conflict zones, there is a very strong request to live together, to enjoy, to find the desire again of living. And the theater is a very powerful tool to do this. Now, uh, like I've said, I don't want to, to say too much. Perhaps I prefer if uh, you have some uh, question or other topic to propose or to to give to a common discussion uh, the microphone is, is open or otherwise we can go deep on what uh, I think that this is yeah uh, thank you thank you so much for this opportunity uh, that given to me to share it on a few things that we are doing or we plan to do in South Sudan concerning the community theater or theater for change, theater in conflict zones. Uh, I think uh, as you have been following up the situation in South Sudan and that uh, we have been through a lot of uh, peace agreement, a lot of uh, signing peace in uh, a national level, in a grassroots level, in a community level. And mostly, or oh, most of those uh, uh, peace agreement sign end up with another new conflict. And that for me is a really uh, a dramatic problem in which people deal with peace as uh, a document issues that only when people sign it and then people start dancing, uh, in that uh, holes, that's mean the peace is there. But shortly they discover that everything is just falling apart. So that's why we believe that uh, using theater and connecting with our experience in Sudan, working in this kind of uh, theater in conflict zone with uh, ambassador artist uh, Ali Mahadi, so I think uh, we're been doing uh, good things uh, in that uh, grassroots level, uh, using theater uh, for women rights and girl rights, because we believe that uh, supporting the girl and woman issue also will create a space and give an opportunity for the women and girls to be part, uh, I mean, to be uh, effective uh, to, to make their participation very effective in the community. Uh, there are like a, a big number in the community in South Sudan. And also uh, we, in some point, uh, interacting in, interacting school festival in which the student uh, do festival and then they use uh, uh, community theater presenting their problems that facing them in the school, problems that facing their community and how they do it. And then the community of the schools, the secondary schools were there attending and witnessing and participating in the uh, forum that those uh, students are give by the performers. Uh, our plan for the 2022, the coming year, we really set uh, a clear plan that we have to uh, deliver uh, almost 45 community performers that we move in the level of grassroots, trying to give an awareness and trying to shed on all those problems that face our people in that grassroots, and even just to try to, to, to pick up the, the serious meaning of the peace in their cultures, in their dance, in their uh, storytelling, in their songs, because sometimes you see people, they feel that this piece is not 
their own because it's something that brought from outside but shading in their cultures all those songs dance uh, storytelling that encourage peace i think when we use them as a tools to create a public show in that grassroots i think it will give us uh, more opportunity to allow the people to, to to get more understanding about the peace and how their culture also uh, get few uh, peace elements that can be used so that they can feel that they own this process okay and also that uh, performance will give them a chance to get to know each other because most of the people here they just have a mindset about each other that's why sometimes the communities facing very difficult problems when they get to communicate with each other so i think through these uh, performances we are aiming to to create a forum in which the people get to know each other get to understand the different uh, get to see the importance of being in one just to to to, to create a wild dialogue out of those halls where the peace process are signed and uh, the politician decided about the peace because we believe that yeah it's very important that when people i mean uh, it's not easy to, to stop the effect of the war because most of the people will get traumatized the family destroy people forced to move from their places so it's not easy to get back that trust. So we believe that through what we are planning as a College of Art, Music and Drama for the coming year, to give just a space for people to get to know each other, to contact each other, to respect each other, to, to create a forum whereby people can re-respect the arts as another tools in which people can get to contact. I remember, uh, a few months back, I was in one of uh, the city in South Sudan, the west part, the city called Wau. I've been doing uh, a training with a secondary school girls and the effect of the last war in Wau in the communities and how people leave their places and how the family was destroyed. So I built five performances. Those performances was built in a real story from life. And you can see how people react to those shows and they feel that those shows is really uh, presenting their problems, their communities, and they're happy to brought those things out in which the audience, which is really mixed by the chiefs, uh, the uh, people from the community, the students, the community of the school, and the political leader, okay, to give their views through that forum. For them, it was really a big achievement that the young secondary school student managed to present uh, the challenges that face the community in WOW, and they presented in a way in which all the community publicly can share their views. The chiefs were able to share their views and give the solution. The normal people managed to give their views, okay? And even the, the politician, the leaders, they managed to, to, to even to, to address the people through that forum. And for me, it was really a link in which uh, people never meet before like this in WOW after this war and talk openly, giving their ideas on how to solve those uh, solutions. I will end up with what the people say at that time that really they need to change. And they believe that change is a process. And it's not easy. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. I think uh, later on, maybe we can like discuss and then we talk about uh, listen to the others what they have in this issue. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Justin. And also, please, uh, if we can uh, uh, speak uh, briefly uh, to allow to everybody to speak together. Uh, I'm sorry, we have now a long time to, to discuss on this, but also I hope that this is the first step to work together about a topic so uh, essential, so important. I want to say 
two little things briefly uh, about the intervention of justice. <clears throat> one of the aspects very important is that uh, one of the topic is the isolation. Generally, we have to break down in the situation of conflict, in the situation of the uh, difficulties of the society. The first step to front, to face is the isolation. Is we have to break down the isolation. And in this aspect, there is another aspect very uh, strategical also, that is the mobility of the people or the young people essentially. It's an instrument very important, the mobility of the uh, young generation, especially in this moment connected with the COVID because if we are able to create a connection of different and similar experiences, we can create a very, very powerful tool for the people. If uh, I have to speak, for example, in, in our experience in the Balkanian area, for example, there is always an idea of the experience of the people that work in conflict to leave a dimension isolated. If we are able to create a common uh, elaboration of the artistic experience and sensibility, we are creating a very, very strong opportunity to overcome the difficulties. Okay, now Alvaro Franco, please. Uh, you ask. Hello to everybody. Um, I think the the most thing, the most important thing that concerns me right now, uh, given the fact that both governments and economical powers need uh, proof of the impact that we have in our societies is how to measure that impact of our activities, you know, the, the performances, the workshops, and in fact, in the long term, not just in the in the brief moment of the presentation or the workshop, that's and 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 it's it's been it's a question that it has been haunting me for a, for a while, you know, because that is the only way, at least here in Colombia, that we have to prove to our governments or economic uh, powers to. Uh, to show them that we are successful in our activities, you know, and uh, and also to get funding for our activities. That's the the main the main subject that I that I, that I am concerned. That I don't know how to measure that in terms of of impact and how the the society is changing uh, through these activities, you know. Um, I, 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 as you know, we, we have been on a long peace process here in Colombia, and it's been quite challenging. And uh, there's a lot of activities all around our country. But I think what you say, Fabio, is the isolation. We don't know uh, what anybody, any, anyone else is doing in certain areas of our even our country, not even, uh, not yet, uh, not even uh, the world, you know, the Sudan, India, whatever. So that's that's the main thing that that concerns me: how to measure the impact, and how that uh, we can show to these people who help, who hold power, hey, we're we're doing something good for our society, you know, something that is changing our society. That's the thing. Thank you, Alvaro. Maisa, please. Hi, thank you very much. Um, I come to you speaking from Saudi Arabia and I kind of adding to what um, both uh, gentlemen have said, I think I wanted to understand more from you when you're talking about the mobility of young people, because again, kind of similar to um, what we just heard is that uh, also in a position where, for example, theater has not been presented. So it's more of initiation really, rather than trying to resolve social issues, is trying to put theater there for the first time. Um, it's a time here in Saudi where uh, it's the arts are finally being acknowledged, finally being 
promoted. So there is that funding, there is that interest. And remain, how do we break the ice relation? What is meant by the mobility of young people and how best to create that initial connection? Because there aren't any theaters functioning. Uh, this is the time where, where we are going to start theaters functioning. So is there a way that we break the isolation um, uh, to integrate everyone? Because what I realize is there's a focus to bring the big shows and this and this. I think it's creating more of an isolation in the sense, as you said, there's the entertainment element. But then what about the element that is about uh, looking into society, making those connections? and just allowing people to understand what theater is because I think we have that need. So I was really interested to hear more from you and everybody else as to what is the way forward if we are initiating more than actually trying to solve social issues through theater. Thank you. Thank you. If someone else wants to say something. Tamar. Yes, please, Radhika. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to discuss about what Alvaro Franco said. Uh, have you ever thought about uh, referring to documentation and studies uh, that have been published in reference to applied theater? So I'm a applied I'm a student at the Applied Theater in, uh, India Foundation, and uh, we were theoretical uh, studies. We had to read case studies and look at documentation. This was majorly about theater and education, how drama helped development of. And uh, that is something that can sort of put you in a uh, direction. Uh, there's this website called research gate, researchgate.net. Uh, I can <laughs> 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 Baron can uh, disactivate. Your... I'm not the uh, administrator. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Gong Barao? Oh, okay. Okay, finally, we, are, we arrived. Yeah, uh, Alvaro, were you able to hear me? So yeah, that that just something that we have studied, and I thought that might be helpful because when when you, even uh, I'm starting my work uh, in a small town called Nasik in India, uh, to the authorities, so-called uh, people uh, who have who do give us permissions. They do ask you about, oh, you know, where has this happened before? Can you show us some proof and stuff like that? So what? That's what I, at least I've been doing is providing them with uh, studies uh, where it, I mean, it has helped. Most of them are uh, from Europe-based uh, studies, and they are very old, like 70s, 60s based timelines. Recent ones are very less. Also, what could help is uh, this one. Oh, let me let me find the name. It's the interna uh, IPT, International Net. I'll, I'll find the name and get back to you. It's an editorial. Uh, they also publish a lot of papers. Uh, we had a faculty member who is the editor of that editorial. That was wrong. Who was who's a writer for that editorial? Uh, she uh, th Her name is Radhika Jain. And uh, so she told us and that also helps. I'll just Google it and get back to you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, of course, the, there are a lot of studies on uh, social theater 
it's very important also to share together. Also, the idea of this network is also to, to share together, to find a, a common exchanges about the, this discussion. Of course, there are many different examples all over the world about this dimension. <clears throat> I'm working in this moment. Uh, we have started to work uh, with the uh, Russian ITI and with the uh, Burkina Faso ITI before uh, we have also Madhu. And it's very important to share the different experiences because different experiences is connected also with different uh, heritage in connection with this. For example, <clears throat> it's very important in African experience, the example of Augusto Boal uh, work, but this experience was developed in these last 20 years in a very strong way. It's very important to create connection between South America and uh, African uh, experiences. I think it's a role of the network also to promote this uh, dimension of exchanges. It's very important. But also, I think that today we are doing the first step for the network about social theater and community theater to share together and also to promote uh, also some translation of uh, articles in the review and so on. For example, uh, Vito Minoya has a very interesting uh, international review connected with the experience of theater in prison. It's very important to, uh, to communicate this. This is another aspect of the, to overcome the isolation. It's very important, the communication, because there are many different needs that we can uh, elaborate together. We have to uh, remember also the, social dimension of the social theater. And this is possible if we are able to continue to create a, a, a common uh, sharing of the experiences. And because in many, many different cases, we have a very strong impact. Also, I think generally in many, many different uh, conflict zones area, all over the world, the role of theater, we have, uh, uh, worked two weeks ago in Iraq uh, that uh, they have reopened the International Theater Festival in Baghdad. And the theater was destroyed during the work in 2003. Uh, this is a very, very interesting because it was a, a impulse, an active action of resistance of the community, of the community against the destruction of the war. There are a lot of experiences. We are collecting a lot of experiences all over the world of the theater and, and conflict zones. But also, I think that the, the role most important that we can play in this moment is the connection between different experiences. I don't know also if someone wants to say something. Oh, please, Shen Liang. Hi. Hello. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity and it's a very uh, good opportunities that uh, uh, we gather together to talk about the uh, uh, community theater here. Uh, I'm a faculty in Shanghai Theater Academy and recently I'm uh, teaching a course on the community theater, how the theater and the community. And I'm also working on a paper recently on the prison theater. So I'm quite interested that uh, in, in, in your experience that uh, you mentioned that uh, the, the prison theater uh, in Italy is quite uh, uh, powerful, I think. And I, I, I think it's, it's a good opportunity for us to be gathered here. And I think whether the, the opportunity that we can continue this kind of a discussion in the future. So I propose that uh, we together, we, all the members who are interested in the community theater, uh, if we can continue working the network and uh, share our experience and the case, and uh, uh, maybe we can do more things on the, you know, we, we can know each other, how we are doing community theater in different uh, situations and different countries and different district and that will be very helpful to encourage us to continue our work so if we 
where if we can set kind of kind of a sectors or research uh, institute kind of these things in the network, I think it it will be very helpful. Thank you. That's that's all my, my proposal. Thank you, Shen Yang. Uh, also, I thought I totally agree the, with this opportunity. Also, there is a uh, disassociated dimension in my life because I am a sociologist at university and I am a director uh, in a theater group. And also, usually I try to combine these two aspects. Sometimes it's not very easy, but generally it's very important. Like uh, uh, Alvaro Franco asked the, to, how to measure the impact of the intervention. And this is a, a, another very strong aspect. It is not so easy, but generally my idea is that theater create an intervention on a social body, generally. And it's not so easy to measure the impact because it's a very long term uh, uh, consequences that create this kind of intervention. Also, uh, when uh, Justin said about uh, the performances, some performance, I think that we have to speak about a, a complex strategy. It's not only the performance, it's also the workshop, the intervention day by day with the community, the intervention in a concrete uh, uh, community that work uh, recreating a connection. This is, this create a, a, a very strange form of impact that is not very easy to measure, but is an impact that create a concrete uh, consequences, a concrete results for me. Now, uh, Taiwo, please. Thanks, Fabio. Um, good to see everyone. Uh, my name is Taiwo. I'm Taiwo Falabi. I'm an assistant professor um, at the University of Regina, and I'm a director of a center called Center for Socially Engaged Theater. Uh, I just wanted to chime in into all that I, that, that I was saying, that um, there are existing uh, publications, that are existing associations, networks um, that you know, that focus on some of these things that we're talking about. So I, I, I for example, for me, um, I've written, I've written a lot on applied theater and I'm still writing. Um, and I, I work in communities, so I kind of straddle practice and theory. Um, so I think some of these things that we're raising, uh, we have a lot of precedents already, those that are working on it, that are still working at it. So I think it's a great idea. Um, just like Shen did mention that it would be nice to sort of find ways that we can uh, better understand how those interventions and those things work uh, from those practices and find a way to strengthen our own practice in our different ways. Now, obviously experiences are different. Um, the, the case of South Sudan might be different from India, uh, but at the same time, for all of us coming together and finding ways to ensure that we learn from our practice, via conference, uh, you know, publications, reviews, and things that will keep us going. I think that's um, also critical. The other thing I wanted to also flag to say is that um, my own center, a center for social engaged theater, um, we're working specifically within the context of justice, um, policing and immigration and, and policy, uh, because we kind of realized that also a way to transcend some of these things that we're working at at the community level uh, into the policy realm is really critical. So um, I, would, I would also want to offer that, you know, that might be also the other ways that we're thinking about this thing. So that as we connect together to see the activities that we're doing, it'd be nice to also think, think around all of that. And, and then finally, on my own end, um, um, I, I think that uh, taking these experiences to schools are really critical in terms of pedagogy and curriculum. Uh, and I think that maybe that might be also a neat way for us to think about that as, as a, you know, as a, as, as a group or whatever we're trying to do. Because um, I believe that um, the fresh minds and fresh perspectives from um, the field is always um, helpful, especially uh, because it, it brings that fresh insight from practitioners, right, who are many times different from scholars, but those that have that, that, experience, that lived experience. So, uh, so all that I'm trying to say is that I think um, 
we're on to something here and it might be nice for us to think of those in various ways to collaborate to partner. Uh, and I teach classes in, in theater, in applied theater, theater, community theater, uh, social theater. And I'll be happy to invite any of you at some point to my class to even be, you know, to share your experience with my students if that's something that anyone is interested in. Because I think that global perspective to what is happening is really critical. And I always want to offer our students and, of course, my own theater company and my center that and the community that. So, um, uh, that that's on my own spiel, and I'll hand it back to Fabio. Thanks. Thank you, Tayo. Uh, I don't know if uh, Jean-Henri, do you want to say something? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, perhaps uh, Roberta can help me if my English shall be not. Uh, Okay for everybody. Thank you, <laughs> Roberta, if you can help me. Uh, a short uh, uh, speak. Uh, I agree with uh, what uh, Daniel say. It's very important our topic uh, become uh, a platform uh, to exchange, to share every time together. But uh, what I wanted to say with uh, what uh, people said is, uh, uh, by example, uh, uh, for me uh, and my experience, and uh, I am an old man, uh, seven, J'ai 75 ans depuis quelques jours <laughs> et je fais du théâtre euh, euh, de, je vais dire social, depuis euh, presque 50 ans. So he just said, may I? I can translate. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can. So he said he is uh, uh, 75 and uh, mais j'ai I make social theater uh, depuis 50 ans. Yeah, and he is doing uh, social theater since uh, 50 years. Yeah. And what I think it's uh, the first change we can do with our uh, process to my, when I say our process, I think about the principle for me uh, process of uh, what is uh, uh, social theater is to make theater not only for, but with people. And the first change is the change, the way after we do theater with people, what I see is a, a change of the people, the way their life change, because they, with the theater, they share life in another way to speak together. But to make theater is a way to prove you are somebody in front of people. And when you do this, you change. It's very important to, to propose to make theater to the people and to, to, to have opportunity with, with the theater to become, uh, to, to discover another way to live. And I think the best thing I do with theater during 50 years is this way to do theater when i propose to somebody to make theater he become another people another person and for me it's the first change we can do and the second thing i want to 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 say uh, is um uh, i i propose we try uh, fabio another way to share our experience. Uh, it's a good way to do what we do now. Okay, we speak together. But 
by example, by what I say before, the best way to share what I say before is to invite you to come in Belgium, by example, when I do a workshop theater with syndicate, and you can see where, why, with uh, the people, and you can, you decide if you are with me to, 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 to discover what you want. Uh, and it's impossible when I uh, speak with you to explain uh, <laughs> what is the first important thing I do uh, because uh, I, I do something because it's necessary in this, in this moment, in this situation, in front of this kind of people to do what I do. If you are with me, you can discover perhaps a process. And for me, we, if we uh, continue to share together, we, it's very important to discover the way to invite somebody to come to see what we do in our field. It's uh, okay for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, jean Fabio. Uh, Fabio. Uh, Vito e poi Radica. Okay, then Radica. Vito. Radica, vuoi prima tu? Aspetto. Okay, can you uh, speak you if you want before? I have a question. We can take it up later. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I ask to Roberta to translate from Italian? Yeah. Thank, thanks, Roberta. Um, ecco, sono molto d'accordo con uh, uh, Jean Henri Dres uh, uh, sul sull'idea di sviluppare delle degli scambi pratici di lavoro. I totally agree with Jean-Henri Dres on the idea to make practical exchanges of the work. Ecco, io eh, in questo gruppo, diciamo, non rappresento una istituzione aderente a questo eh, uh, network, ma eh, ecco, sono strettamente collegato all'ITI Eh, sia perché faccio parte della commissione delle pubblicazioni eh, dell'ITI e sia perché è presidente di un'associazione internazionale partner che è l'associazione internazionale del teatro all'università. Um, I'm not here as a representative of a member institution of uh, this network but uh, I'm closely linked to ITI as I am part of the publication committee and I am president of the International Association of University Theatre as well. E sono da due anni anche promotore e coordinatore di un nuovo network internazionale che riunisce le esperienze di teatro in carcere a livello mondiale. And I am also promoter and coordinator of an international network that gathers uh, um, different realities connected to theater in prison. Ecco, però volevo eh, parlarvi dell'esperienza editoriale importante eh, che eh, ho avviato all'Università di Urbino in Italia ormai 25 anni fa. And I wanted to speak to you about an important initiative, editorial initiative uh, of the University of Urbino in Italy that started 25 years ago. Oggi eh, noi gestiamo due riviste eh, eh, di documentazione del teatro sociale. La, pri la prima è Teatri delle diversità. On social theater, the first one is the theater of diversity. Ecco, questa rivista eh, è quella, la rivista madre, è a 25 anni di vita, e eh, documenta eh, sotto appunto l'egida del nuovo concetto del, della diversità intesa come ricchezza espressiva, 
eh, il teatro nella, nella situazione con handicap, nel disagio psichico, nel teatro in carcere e in vari altri eh, filoni del teatro sociale. And this uh, magazine was published, uh, um, has been published over the last 25 years, um, building around the new concept of uh, uh, disability, of diverse ability, connected as a richness, mm, so connected to um, handicap and uh, um, theater in prison and uh, psychological uh, um, disease. La seconda rivista invece ha come titolo Cercare e come sottotitolo Carcere Anagramma D. È una rivista che è nata cinque anni fa e che eh, è specifica sulla documentazione del teatro in carcere. Il secondo magazine è related specificamente to uh, the documentation of uh, the theater work in prisons. Carcere is the anagram of uh, Uh, cercare il dianagramma di carcere, which means prison in Italian. Ecco, allora, um, nel, eh, già con Alfira eh, Aslanova, che coordina il gruppo delle pubblicazioni dell'ITI, eh, abbiamo preso accordi per eh, documentare insieme il lavoro del teatro sociale a livello internazionale. Quindi ecco, quello che posso oggi portare a, al gruppo di lavoro, eh, al quale ecco, ovviamente parteciperei eh, eh, se, se siete d'accordo come eh, collaboratore esterno, però eh, ecco, potrei certamente anche testimoniare eh, quello che è un lavoro in crescita che attraverso queste due riviste potrebbe certamente documentare anche eh, quello che accade nelle vostre realtà e creare eh, delle sinergie e, dei, eh, eh, e delle collaborazioni. Ecco, collaborazioni che dal, dalla documentazione eh, scientifica, perché le riviste si caratterizzano come riviste di documentazione scientifica, possono certamente produrre poi anche delle occasioni di scambio pratico nel lavoro come diceva prima Jean Henri. So with the uh, Alfira Arslanova uh, which is uh, and who is uh, uh, coordinator of the publication committee uh, Vito has been working on a publication on social theater so is asking uh, and everybody to uh, get involved also uh, in this uh, Uh, next publication uh, and to think about developing exchange uh, collaborations on the topic of uh, uh, social theater. Um, so it's a proposal of uh, Vito to go on with our collaborations also outside this uh, meeting. L'ultima cosa, poi chiudo. Il profilo, il profilo della mia ricerca è maggiormente un profilo di carattere educativo, no? quindi tutto il lavoro che io a livello scientifico svolgo è un lavoro eh, di carattere pedagogico che eh, riporta ad un lavoro di autostima ecco, della persona che attraverso questo tipo di esperienze cresce, si relaziona e fa comunità. The scientific work that I develop is mainly um, pedagogical, aiming to uh, increase the self-esteem and the self-trust of the person in order to build up a community around this new sense of self-trust. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Giusto un'ultima cosa, se volete, eh, domenica eh, pomeriggio, la prossima domenica, eh, ter si terrà un webinar dove io illustrerò eh, ecco, tutto il lavoro eh, su questo concetto dei teatri delle diversità. Il no. webinar è organizzato dalla Fondazione Eugenio Barba Giulia Varley. On Sunday I, Vito will uh, um, give a webinar um, about this uh, um, work on the social theater and the webinar is organized by the Foundation Eugenio Barba and Giulia Varley. Okay, thank you. you. We have, I'm sorry we have to close because we have to uh, re-enter in the common session of the network. Uh, okay. I, 
the question of Radhika. Radhika, your question very quick. Uh, it was a general question. It's okay if we don't take it up. Yes, okay. doctor. I have written me too about the women role and other things very, very uh, essential in uh, the topic of social theater. And also I'm sure that uh, all the presence of women in this network can work a lot on, on this sense to, to give, to have a contribution very important. I want to thank you everyone. Uh, Jean-Henri, please. Yes, I, I want to know how it's possible to send to everybody uh, by by mail something. Can you uh, f uh, send I... me the address mail of everybody because I have some uh, some some papers to to give to everybody. Okay, no, thank you very much. But also, uh, I will do this with uh, uh, John Wen uh, to collect uh, your uh, mail address and also to uh, communicate with you and to consider this first step like the first step of the common work on which we can do uh, something very very important and interesting everywhere in the world thank you very much for your uh, presences and uh, stay in touch thank you